Hey there YouTube, welcome back to the shop. Yesterday I was changing oil on a Milwaukee 8 and I noticed that we had new oil filters and then I found out that Milwaukee 8s now have new oil filters through the motor company. I thought that was pretty interesting and I figured maybe somebody else would have a question on it. So then I was thinking a little bit more and then I was thinking how about I just go ahead and cut open all of the different types of oil filters that I have. So today I have a brand new Milwaukee 8 version that's just released. The current twin cam Milwaukee 8 oil filter, a K&N, an AMS oil, and a Wix oil filter. So we're going to cut all of those open and take a look at them. The only two ones that are new are the Harley Davidson ones. The other three I just I grabbed out of the oil bin. They're all from twin cams and Milwaukee 8s. But Let's pop them open and take a, take a look at the differences. Thanks for watching, like and subscribe. Here we are, this is the tool that we're going to be using to cut open the oil filters. There will be a link down in the description. I bought it off of Amazon. It's worked great for me so far. If you had questions specifically about the new oil filter, this is the information that the dealership has provided. So basically, there is a new oil filter out from Harley Davidson that's specific for Milwaukee vehicles. It has the same oil filter media in it, the same five micron oil filter as the older oil filter, but apparently it's thicker or wider, adds 25% increased capacity. Harley Davidson recommends upgrading to this new oil filter whenever your next oil change is but it's not a warrantyable type of situation so warranty doesn't cover replacing the oil filter also if the vehicle is over a thousand miles and you still have a few of these around it basically says that you can continue to use them and it won't affect the warranty status at all but if you bought a brand new harley davidson built after approximately march 3rd then it will come with this longer oil filter and if you get your oil changed, you will likely get this larger oil filter. And you may or may not notice, but they look very similar. It's just slightly longer. Also, I forgot to mention that this new oil filter, it mentions in the paperwork that it hasn't been tested or designed to work on twin cam vehicles. So it's only Milwaukee 8 specific. So when I was changing oil in it yesterday I noticed that there was a little orange thing inside and down in the bottom that that I hadn't noticed before and then I noticed that there was a little black thing in the old one here's the paperwork you can read it for yourself I'll hold it still for a couple seconds so you can press pause and read it if you would like so now I'm going to speed up and cut through all of the oil filters and pull their guts out and put them on the paper and take a look at them. Here we go. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Here we have the new oil filter for the Milwaukee 8 and older Milwaukee 8 and the normal twin cam oil filter. This is interesting because I had just done an oil filter teardown previously and that kind of got me interested into checking out this filter and the other filter. And we cut apart one of these and this one is different. Specifically uh, the safety bypass valve it being in the bottom before we saw it up here in the top like it had the same type of like little ridge but now it's just like a stamped steel piece I made this damage when I was splitting the filter body apart but now we can see that what that little orange thing down there was was that safety bypass valve to me the spring looks different actually feels a stiffer just to my feel but I was just interested in knowing the size of the thing so that one's 
2.750 ish. That one's just about the same. It's 2.686 long, whereas the old one is 2.298 long. I wonder if the caps are the same. They appear to be identical. It still appears to have five threads on the threaded, uh, where it threads onto the oil filter housing. I was also interested about this as far as how the inside of the new oil filters looked like if there was going to be remnants of like manufacturing or just exactly how clean it would be and it is pretty clean I should have said right from the get-go I just went upstairs and bought both of these oil filters so if you went to your local Harley Davidson dealership this is exactly what you would get they're both brand new I just bought them yesterday myself the anti-drain back valve looks identical in between them interesting and the insides of them look kind of different both filters look about the same on the inside, I don't know if it'll show up, but on this one, like how the oil passes through, like that graded area, is a little bit different than this one. See, this one has like a wider kind of a grading to it. And it's interesting because on the old oil filter, that was a Harley Davidson one, we saw how it was different from the Wix oil filter with this type of. Uh, platform so that it sits up off the bottom of the oil filter housing and it was interesting because it was different than the wicks but now we see that it was probably like a precursor for having the safety bypass valve here in the bottom so that's interesting let's take take a little bit of a closer look at the other oil filters Here we have the K&N, like, like I was saying, it already had oil in it, like it's a used oil filter. The bottom of the, I guess I would call this the top plate, it looks like it has smaller holes than the Harley Davidson one, like smaller diameter holes, but very similar. It looks like this one has one, two, three, about four threads, just about the same as the Harley Davidson one. The anti drain bag valve is kind of different. Like it has a completely different shape to it than the Harley, Harley Davidson one. And the media is completely different. Like it's a completely different type of filter. Let's see how this one stacks up. One's 2.752 wide and about 2.606. That seems pretty wide. Hold on, let's see. Let's just call that 2.6. Yeah, where the Harley Davidson one is 2.4. Hold on. where the Harley Davidson one is like 2.8 so yeah you can see that it's a completely different type of filter media design and on the inside it has just regular holes it doesn't have like serrations or like the Harley Davidson one does interesting 
Let's continue on. Here we have an AMS oil. Let's take a look at the top plate. And we'll just compare it back versus the Harley Davidson one. So, as far as threads, one, two, three, four, about four, about the same. Kind of like the KN, it has smaller diameter holes here in the top. It looks like a couple fewer as well. And this drain bag valve looks much more similar to the Harley Davidson one. A little bit different, a little bit thinner, a little bit different shape to it. I don't know if I measured this one yet. Let's do it. It is 2.4, or sorry, 2.748 wide and 2.291 long interesting let's go see the wicks again now the wicks is completely different here where it has the safety and drain bag valve built in into the top of it and that's how we saw the Harley Davidson filter previously so I don't know exactly when the running change of that was, but that's something to be noted. This is the Wix and this is a Harley Davidson. So we see that the Wix has larger but fewer holes in the top plate. And a pretty similar design on the bottom. Here we see the Wix anti-drain back valve in the Harley Davidson one. You know, in the Harley Davidson one, in the previous video, it was completely different too, the anti-drain back valve. That's really interesting. So there's been changes that I wasn't aware of. But a completely different designed anti-drain back valve. And then the inside of the oil filter. And this one is 2.749 wide and 2.134 long. Interesting. So now the next part is I want to cut the media off of the filters. F off all five of them and kind of measure how long they are and see if there's a difference there and feel the difference in the media types so let's get to cutting all those parts it's going to take me a little bit so i'm just going to speed through that Alright, now for the next part, I'm going to extend the media along this tape measure and see how long it is because I'm interested to know like the effective material length. So the new Harley Davidson Milwaukee 8 oil filter, fully extended, looks to be 39 inches long. The previous Milwaukee 8 and the twin cam oil filter appears to be slightly longer, just over 40 inches long. The KN oil filter. Oh man. All right, 
So the KNN oil filter element is 62 inches long, which is crazy. But it kind of looked like that because the pleats were so tight with it. And the AMS oil element, oh boy. The AMS oil is 33 inches long. And the Wix element is, I call that 35 and a half inches long. Let's look at the actual materials and see if we can see or feel a difference in them. So the, so the Wix oil filter material has metal screen back and then it feels like a it feels like a cottony type of substance. I wonder if that means anything. But it feels like a wet cardboard almost. But like it's bound together pretty well. Now the AMS oil. The AMS oil also has a metal back, but its fil filter material is but its filter material is held on really well like it's bonded to the metal backing. Yeah, like I can't even get up behind it. Like it doesn't want to peel away at all. Like, oh, I don't, yeah. So it has like, this is kind of what we saw with the Harley Davidson oil filter, I believe, previously. Where this feels just like the wicks, but half as thick. So it's like a wet papery type of substance. And then it has this thicker or coarser type of fibrous. It's super strong, like I'm pulling almost like in a reasonable amount of effort and it's super strong. That's interesting. Well, let's see what it looks like if we look through it. Oh, that's weird how like there's little bleeding lines kind of I wonder if that's that looks like it's just kind of like marks on the marker or marks from a marker from assembly now we have the K&N oil filter and this is a completely different type of material like it rips but it's fairly thin but it feels like it's it's like stamped like in a press like it has such rigidity to it like you can just see like how it pops right back which is really impressive just for whatever type of material it is but it looks like it's a really interesting type of like composite cardboard that's been like super pressed or formed very interesting and it doesn't have a metal backing and that must just be because this material is so strong like like this it's like I'm with a lot of pulling force like it won't just tear you have to get it on an edge and then it'll tear so it's also still like a very papery type of substance Let's look down, down here at the Harley Davidson ones. So we're back to the old Milwaukee 8, the normal twin cam oil filter. Let's clean this up a little bit. See if we can separate these. Now this looks just like the AMS oil oil filter, but I think it's 
right here you can see like where it's like separating so it's like two different layers where you have this bottom coarser like thicker material like a thicker filament and then you have like a finer filter on top but it's fairly weak like if you pull on it it kind of has more of a oh that's interesting there's like a, there's like it's sandwiched it's like a three-part thing you can tell as you pull it see how the white breaks apart the white must be like the actual filter like a fine filter I'm assuming and then it's sandwiched in between these two like heavier heavier thicker materials but it has a, a metal backing to it so that's interesting and that's what we kind of saw on the old oil filter or on the Harley Davidson oil filter from a different video I'll put that link down in the description now we'd be expecting to see the same out of the new Milwaukee 8 oil filter yes it's looking the same the same metal backing the same white filter material and then as you pull it and separate it so yes it does indeed look like it is the same filter material for the new Milwaukee 8 oil filter as it does for the old Milwaukee 8 and twin cam oil filter which is exactly what Harley Davidson says it just says that it has 25 percent more cap capacity so just the last thing to check is let's look at just the filter body itself so this is interesting this is the Milwaukee 8 the new Milwaukee 8 larger volume oil filter in comparison to the normal twin cam old Milwaukee 8 you can see just the way like once the oil comes through the filter and then the way that it goes through this metal area appears to be a, a very rigid design but it's interesting that it has like more smaller holes where the uh, normal twin cam old Milwaukee 8 filter has um, bigger holes so just interesting and also the oil bypass valve isn't held in very well that's one part I was really impressed about the old Harley Davidson oil filter that I took apart from the previous video is that it had a really good uh, safety bypass valve and how it was affixed to the top but this is just kind of like a it's got a, it's got a bit of a press fit to it so it's something I guess but it feels kind of cheap so this one is likely the same which it is let's continue on to the K&N the K&N it looks like it can flow a lot through there and definitely has a lot of big holes and like this I'm squeezing it as hard as I can and it doesn't move where the K&N it's not flimsy by any means, but it definitely doesn't have the, the strength that the Harley Davidson filter does. As far as this, this metal area, let's move down to the AMS oil. The AMS oil has like an interesting situation here where it has this grid of holes. Again, it's a super rigid. It feels pretty thick, thick metal. Super strong. And the Wix oil filter. The Wix has fairly good size holes. Super strong there. That thing isn't moving or bending. So that's it. I just thought it was interesting to look over the differences in the Harley Davidson new oil filter the paperwork just says 25 percent more volume capacity but we see that it's actually a little bit more than that the way that it's constructed through here is a little bit differently and then the way the anti-drain bag valve is that's a little bit different as well so there's more improvements there than just meets the eye
I was also really impressed with how much filter media there was in the k &N. Like, I don't know how to test these and check to see like if my five micron like can go through this one and not another or whatever. But just from a visual aspect, the k &N one was really impressive with how much material there was there. So that's something. And it's interesting to see how much the Harley Davidson oil filter media has in common with the Wix and also the AMS oil filter media. So just thought that was interesting. Figured I'd bring you along. So that concludes this video. That's it. I got to get back to my actual job. So thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.